today on Real Ghost Stories Online. They were watching an infomercial for Gwyneth Peltro's Goop. And there was a segment about energy passing between people. So they tried it and strange things started happening. Do they now have their own Goop ghost? Is it Gwyneth Peltro's fault? Welcome to Real Ghost Stories Online. Call in your real ghost story now at 855-853-4802 or write in at realghoststoriesonline.com. You are about to enter the world of the unknown and quite possibly the undead. This is Real Ghost Stories Online. Yeah, it is. 855-853-4802, the phone number to call and share your real ghost story with us. Love to hear it. Get access to our show ad-free. Binge away on all of the archive of episodes. Literally tens of thousands of them to binge away on right now. Do it at ghostpodcast.com, patreon.com slash real ghost stories, or an Apple podcast in our premium channel. Uh, right there. Uh, I've I've never heard of a ghost story that connected itself to an infomercial or Gwyneth Paltrow's goop as well. That's uh, that's a, this is I'm a new one. I'm excited to hear about this one. This is this is very different. This is very different. different. Back to our conversation in just a moment. First, have you ever tried to break a habit and felt like you're climbing Everest in flip flops? Yeah, it it can feel like that sometimes. But here's a breath of fresh air. Fume. And it's not about giving up. It's about switching up. Fume takes your habit and simply makes it better, healthier, and a whole lot more enjoyable. Fume is an innovative, award-winning flavored air device that does all of that for you. Instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural. And instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses delicious flavors. Understand? Instead of bad, Fume is good. It's a habit you're free to enjoy and makes replacing your bad habit easy. Your fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and is designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting. I love that part. Giving your fingers a lot to do, which is helpful for distressing and anxiety while breaking that bad habit. The flavors to me really stood out. Just all natural flavor feeling. It didn't have that artificial or manufactured taste. It, it was like having a a sniffing a cup of fresh tea or or taking a sip of fresh tea or when you cut an orange or a lemon it's that 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 essence that gets into the air and and you feel and you taste that's what it felt like when using fume plus fumes just released a magnetic stand for your fume so there's no more losing it around the house it's built with fidgeting in mind so you can spin your fume all around it start the year off with a good habit by going to tryfume.com slash stories and getting the journey pack today. Fume is giving listeners of the show 10% off when they use my code STORIES to help make starting the good habit that much easier. Go to tryfume.com slash stories. That's T-R-Y-F-U-M dot com slash stories and get the journey pack today. Get 10% off when you use my code STORIES. Let's go to the call and, and hear what we got. Hi. Hi, uh, my name is Rosie Grant. I live in Maryland, and I have a ghost story to share. I uh, uh, interned in a cemetery in Washington, D.C., and I personally never thought, I, I guess I, I never personally believed in ghost stories as cool as I thought they were. They were always very fun. I liked spooky movies and ghost tours, but I just thought it was kind of fun stuff. Um, and a little over two years ago, my friends and I would get together every Sunday night, we would watch a movie and make dinner together. And one night, um, that kind of started it all, this whole thing for us, was um, we wanted to chit-chat. We hadn't seen each other. We, I think, skipped a few dinners. And so we decided to put up uh, the Gwyneth Paltrow show, uh, the Goop channel. And uh, we just had it on in the background. And at one point, one of the episodes that was just playing was about, like, energy passing along. And we were like, oh, that's, that sounds kind of funny. Let's try it ourselves. So we sit in a circle and we were like giggling and everything. We did a few times and we we're like, okay, okay, like let's actually like pretend to really do this for real. And then um, we all got quiet for about 60 seconds, 60 seconds. And I was the person that was standing in the middle and I just felt sort of hot. Like it was, it was, we were all very quiet for a very long time. 
And we were at my friend's apartment in, in D.C., and she had two dogs that she was babysitting. The dogs were very chill. They'd been around us for a few hours at that point. And all of a sudden, literally right after like 60 seconds, they both jumped on one of the girls in the group who is a little bit more like, I'd say like spiritually minded. Like she teaches yoga and she's like connected to things. And um, they just attacked her at like barking on her, jumping on her. They didn't bite her or anything like that, but like we're like physically like pushing her against the wall. And we all were like, really startled at, at this moment we're like oh my gosh what just happened and we were as a joke like just to like try to laugh it off we we're like oh it's the goop demon or whatever and then we just that was that and then she biked home that night and was texting her group and we were like kind of googling about this because she's like guys like people keep like dogs keep barking at me like that's so weird and the next day all next day she kept like messaging her group being like seriously dogs have been barking at me all day and we're like oh ha ha like there's some goop spirits like following you around or something like that and then I went to a comedy show that night and my friend first called me and I, I couldn't take the call because I was at the show. And so started texting me like, hey, I actually am like scared. I had a, a dream last night that a woman visited me in my house and we had this conversation and I like told her to leave in the stream. And like, I like truly actually like felt something like there was something weird that happened. And while she was texting me the story, I get another call from an unknown number and a voicemail is left. And so as soon as the comedy show ends, I listen to the voicemail and it's literally just a woman's voice going, hello. And that's it. And so I'm like, Oh, that's weird. And so I was like trying to understand what was going on with my friend. And we're like still texting back and forth. And so I bike home and, and I'm also in DC and, it's, and I call her as soon as I get back into my apartment and I'm like, Hey, like, so wait, what happened? And while we're talking, all of the lights in my bedroom turn off the lights. I have my hair straightener in, hair straightener turns off. Everything turns off in my room except for the TV and they're all plugged into the same thing. And even to this day, like the lamp has never been able to turn on since then. Literally everything off with my roommate uh, all of his stuff was still on so it wasn't even like a house power outage it was just all the electronics except for the tv just completely turned off and so i was like that's kind of weird <laughs> and, um but i was like oh, you know it's like bad timing and there was like a storm coming in and so um then that night i go to sleep and i have this like moment i like wake up at like two in the morning and i look, look, look around my room and you know, nothing's weird. And so I'm like, oh, whatever. And so I go back to bed and then I have this really strange dream where it's almost like I'm in a movie and in this movie, like I'm, I'm looking through this rubble and it's actually, it's a very strange dream. I was, um, one of the Terminator movies and I was the, in the newest Terminator movie, it's Natalia Reyes is like the young woman in Linda Hamilton's the older women, woman in the, in like in the plot. And so I'm Natalia Reyes, like looking through this rubble, looking for the woman a uh, friend of Linda Hamilton, and suddenly the dream starts to warp, and I'm not digging through rubble. I'm in my bedroom, and it's I'm not Natalia Reyes, I'm me, and it isn't Linda Hamilton anymore. It's a woman, and we're all in my room. And I'm going, What do you want? Like, what do you want? And she just goes, I want to be here in the night. And she leaves immediately, and I wake up hearing the words, like, actually, like, as if someone was right next to me, being, I want to be here in the night, like, I'm hearing the words in the night as my bedroom door is physically open. So I like wake up to those words and like, as if someone's leaving my room and I was like, Oh my God, <laughs> I texted a friend of mine. I'm like, I think something's in my room. And so I literally get on my bike at like two thirty in the morning, leave and back to my friend's house. Cause I was so scared. And so the next day happens and it's, it comes to um, Friday and I meet at a bar with a bunch of friends. And like, meanwhile, like our whole group had been getting like different like pieces of the two of our stories between the voicemail and our friend getting those visits and then me getting visits. And she is still getting barked at by dogs, like, like unusually, like she's like biking by and like dogs that she's like known before, like acting strange around her. And so we're trading stories and she tells the story of what had happened to her the night before me of um, the, this woman visiting her. And I didn't realize this at the time. It was also an old woman. And the, the conversation that she had was um, my friend goes, I don't want you here in the night. And then the woman leaves. And then the very next night I have this person visiting me being, and I, in my dream slash waking up, go, what do you want? And she's like, I just want to be here in the night as she's leaving, essentially being kicked out again. 
And I still don't know what it is. We haven't been visited by our our goop our goop ghost yet. We like called a bunch of friends to be like who are like again much more spiritually minded, and they had told us like you know this is your home. Like you can just click here, set some clear boundaries. Um, but I still have the voicemail on my phone, and um, that's my good story. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing that with us. What's your thoughts on all that? Um, interesting. I wonder if they somehow summoned something when they were doing that energy pass through or whatever. But I'm thinking, okay, so if that can happen during a you know infomercial, mm-hmm. you know, again, you think about all the infomercials in the world. Billy Mays selling you know whatever he would OxyClean or whatever, like. What would be the infomercials that would definitely bring something through from the other side? I was I was kind of thinking about that. Miracle Blade. <laughs> the Miracle Blade, without a doubt. Yeah. I wonder how many people were killed with a Miracle Blade. Oh man, that's creepy. That you can, you know, you you can cut through shoes, you can cut through metal pipes, and then you get your Miracle Blade. But wait, there's more. You want to set it and forget it. So you need the Ron Popeil um the uh what was the set it and forget it thing was that a rotisserie uh, a rotisserie that's right yeah 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 i always loved those sunday mornings there was a lot of those that were on but uh i do wonder about the miracle blade uh, did you ever have a miracle blade no so what was so what was so wonderful about it, it was very sharp it was very very sharp in fact i think i bought i never bought anything off of television uh but i did i bought miracle blades like when they were as seen on tv at yeah. like Shopco or something. <laughs> this was, I don't know, it was probably like 19. And, uh, but you know what? I used them for years, not as like my main knife, but when I really needed something really sharp or something thin, because the blades were thin too, I would go to the Miracle Blade. It was a nice little set for a while. I, yeah. I actually went online to look up how many people have been killed with a Miracle Blade. So far, I don't find anything on it, but I'm going to start searching. Miracle Blade death stats. Let's... Oh. Uh, I'm going to ask ChatGPT uh, how many people have been murdered using the product known as the Miracle Blade. Here we go. Let's see what we can find out. Uh, error in generating a response. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's hiding something. Chat GPT doesn't want us to know the answer to that. So I'm going to throw it into that one. There is no specific data available on the number of people murdered using the Miracle Blade or any other specific brand of knives. However, general statistics and homicides involving knives or sharp instruments can be provided in some context. Uh, then it goes into that. Um, so there we go. I don't think we really have an answer. Well, damn. I gotta say it's sharp. I would think you could probably <laughs> could probably take somebody out with it pretty quick. So just, great, yeah, great. There you go. Little education on the miracle blade <laughs> for you. I don't think I have mine anymore. I think I got rid of them. They're probably at a goodwill somewhere. Uh, all right, that's going to wrap up uh, this episode of the program. Uh, if you like the show, keep us on the air. Uh, become a supporter. Get on to uh, Apple Podcasts and get access to the bonus episodes ad-free or patreon.com slash Stories or ghostpodcast.com. Until next time, for Todd, I'm Tony. Thanks for listening to Real Ghost Stories Online. Online.